Guys, you are now watching a clip from the Fellas podcast. You can listen to the full podcast exclusively on Spotify for free. So make sure to head over there, leave us a five-star rating if you enjoyed, and follow the podcast. But yeah, so you, so you went to Tokyo, and then yeah. from there you went to Chile, so you went across uh, the... No, so I went to Toronto, Canada. So oh, at the minute, I'm banned from the US, so I can't actually right. like step foot in the US Why? at the minute. So long story short, because I've been to Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan... I can't just go in on an Esther, which is, the, you know, like the tourist, yeah. like automated. Like, I'm, like, well, I'll tell you a mad story, actually. I was with Nico, who you obviously know. The wa- so, the, to people who don't know, we had him on the podcast, The Watchman, as you guys will yeah. know. Yeah. So, a story, this is mad, right? And I've never made a video about this. So, me and, I was going to Miami with Nico, because I think there was some watch conference, and I like collecting yeah. watches as well. So, I was, went with him to that. We go to Heathrow, we both, I, we check in, I put me back, go to the check-in desk, put me suitcase on, they label it up, off it goes. Meet Nico in the lounge, have some food get to the then obviously call checking in so we'll go to the gate um you know they check your passport scan your ticket they scan my ticket and they go oh mr wilson can you just come to the side i was like yeah no, no worries oh, next minute strange. i know i was like i was like what's what's going on here next minute two blokes in a suit american geezers like the baggy american suits as they do yeah. and he's like oh uh, mr wilson can you come with me i want to ask you a few questions i was like yeah sure and he's like um oh you you're traveling on an esther today and I was like, yeah, yeah. And he goes, well, you, you're not valid to travel on an Esther. But again, yes, I've been to those countries, but my Esther was valid from before that. Do you get what yeah. I mean? So I thought, and obviously, like, it, I'm not a terrorist or anything. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. I thought, oh, it'll, it'll ju- I just didn't think anything of it. Do you get what I mean? And then he goes, um, what's the purpose of your visit? What's this? What's this? Blah, 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 blah. And he said, oh, let me ring the office. And I was like, oh, is it, is it still going to be okay to go? And he was like, well, let me ring the office. And then he come back and he just went... Um, Mr. Wilson, I'm sorry to inform you that you will not be stepping foot on US soil today. They I always make like, it seem like yeah. a part of a movie, like yeah. you won't be stepping mate. on United yeah. States soil, sir. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, just say I can't go to the US. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. Like, and like obviously in an American accent, but he was like, and one bit I missed out. Like when he introduced himself, he was like, "Oh, I'm Homeland Security with the US government," and I was like, "Oh shit!" So like, and yeah, I, I just, I was like, "Okay, so what's the plan now?" And he just said. Oh, one of my colleagues will escort you out the airport, and you and they're taking your bag off the plane now. And then Nico's ringing me, going, "Oh, mate, I'm on the plane. Like, are you coming or what?" I went, mate, "I've got not. the champagne ready, mate. Yeah. Where are you?" I was like, "Mate, not today." So I was like, "Jesus." So I said to the guy, "I was like, oh, what's the plan now?" And he was like, "You have to book a, a meeting with the U.S. Embassy yeah. to basically thing." But then obviously COVID hit, and then obviously all those appointments were cancelled. They'll pop up. So I've not been to the U.S. for like two and a half years now. Wow. wow. So yeah, and I still so. In the Seven Wonders, it would have been so much easier to go like Tokyo, Hawaii, which is obviously yeah. classed as America, North America, and then go down, but I couldn't. So I had to go all the way to Montreal, change at Montreal to go to Toronto, fly from Toronto straight over the US oh to God. go to Santiago, Chile. Did you get a refund on that flight? No. Yeah, well, I got a voucher. Well, I got a voucher, oh. but like, oh, mate, I won't go into that because I'll be here ever. But it was like, honestly, it was to get that money back was a nightmare because they were like, oh, it's your fault you didn't show up. I went, I did show up. I wasn't I'm, allowed yeah. on the flight. So in the end, they gave me a voucher, but I've never used it because I don't really fly BA because I'm out with Manchester, not yeah. Heathrow. So, oh mate, yeah. that that sounds. So are you are you are you planning on? Yeah, that, oh, honestly, I love that, the US. I've done yeah. thirty two states in the US. Awesome. And, and which was your favorite? Ooh. Do, do you know one. what? There's look. Uh, do you know what? the the one that I'd have to go with Boston to be honest. So really? Massachusetts. Been, do you know what? It, it's like that's where like I started this. Well, I didn't start YouTube there, but like it started like my passion for traveling and like even before making the videos and the no money videos and stuff. Like I lived in Boston for three months with no money and like just like literally ducking and diving and this and that. So like there like is like a sort of special place for me because that's yeah. where it sort of all started and the only reason why i went there was because when i wanted to start traveling i'd like 200 quid to my name and i was like where's the cheapest flight i can get to the u.s and i was like oh boston's the cheapest flight so i was like fuck it i'll go there yeah. so that yeah i'd have to say boston to be Sick. honest 
Yeah, man. I don't think I've not been there. You've been I, there? I, no, I haven't it, been It's a cool bit. Do you know what? I, 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 I sort of say it's similar to Liverpool. You can walk it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's not like Tokyo or New York where you're just like, oh, I can't walk that. Mm, you yeah. can walk literally from one end to the other, you know, and then it's got like that sort of northern vibe to it as well where it's like, you know, everybody's dead friendly, help a lot of Irish people there. Is it not absolutely Baltic there as well, though? Yeah. Like during the winter, it's oh, like fucking freezing. It's a killer, mate. Yeah. A killer. It's like minus 20 or something. So, and, you, so you went from... From uh, Toronto all the way yeah. down to Chile. Yep. How was Chile? Because I, 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 yeah. I've, I've never, you know what, I don't yeah. think I've ever spoken to anybody about going to Chile. No. Do you know what? It was a nice place. Again, yeah. met some great people there, as you do in every country I go to. But it was like, I don't know. Like, even the people there... Because the thing is, when you go somewhere, you want to relax, don't you? You, you yeah. want to, like... But there, again, it was very South American where you're looking over your shoulder. Like, I had this tour guide there, and she's like, oh, be careful of your bag, be careful of your camera. Be So you're always sort of aware, you're on edge, and you don't want to feel like that. Yeah. So for me, as soon as you go to a place like that, it, it, it's... Well, obviously, it's exciting for the video, and it's, you know, it's exciting to experience, but equally, you can't really relax. And, like, so, yeah, it, like, would I go back? Yeah, maybe to some of the other parts, but Santiago, probably not, not to be honest. Yeah. So, Has there been a place where you felt like that, like, the worst, where you felt, mm. like, on edge? Because you've been to, yeah. like you said, you went to, did you say Syria, all those places? Yeah, but then yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I, I watched a few of those videos, and it was mm. like, it was the total opposite to what Mate, people would well, have expected, Honestly, right? I cannot, like... Every time people go, oh, what's Syria like? Yeah. I'm like, mega. <laughs> mega. Like, I don't even what know. Like class, like. Mate, the food there was amazing. You go out for drinks there. I'm walking through Syria's capital at 1 a.m. on my own with my camera over my shoulder. Like, everybody's like, oh, hiya, mate, hiya, mate. Like, it's like mint. Very welcoming. What? Very welcoming. The people there, oh, my God, so hospitable. Like, even we went to this, like, barber shop there. And there was like my, this guy who was like our guide. He was like, "Oh, we'll go to this plate, this bar." Anyway, we turn up to like this closed barber shop, and it's like imagine like literally the size of this yeah. one chair in it, the mirror. And I was like, and it's like midnight, and I'm like, "What are you doing? It's closed." He knocks on the door. Next minute, this wall just slides open. There's like this massive like nightclub behind it. Oh, I was like, "What, what the hell?" Man. Just in oh, Syria, yeah, no, and everybody like, like, and honestly, you don't feel, um, you don't feel. Like, honestly, I would feel more looking over my shoulder in London than I would yeah. Syria. Mm. That is mental, yeah. isn't and, it? And the same with Iraq, like Iraq. And do you know what with Iraq is that, like, what was, like, quite sad to see is that you speak to, like, the locals, right? And the first thing everybody asks me is, oh, like, what, what do you think of Iraq? And I'm like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it's, you know, not too great. You know, you know here it's like, oh, terrorists, ISIS, this. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You'd never go to Iraq, would you? You wouldn't think about it. Mm. So I'm like, oh, not too good, if I'm honest. And they're like genuinely like hurt by that, like disappointed. And they go, well, what do you think of it now you've come? And I'm like, amazing. And they're like, fuck. Oh, they're like, oh, really? they're like yeah. So, you, so it was similar to Syria awesome. in that sense? Or what was the difference I, between I would, the two? I would say... I would say Syria surprised me more, if I'm honest, just in the sense that, like, at, we went, because obviously you can't fly into Syria because of, like, all the, um, the sanctions on it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? There's no businesses there. It's almost like, not like North Korea in that sense, but it's, there's loads of, like, sanctions, so, that, like, business and stuff like that. You can't fly in, basically. Right. So you had to fly into Beirut in Lebanon and then travel over the border. How long is that trip? Um... About three hours, I okay. reckon, three, four hours. But, like, I thought that, like, I'd love Beirut and Syria was going to be a bit of a struggle where, to be honest, it was the other way around. Like, Beirut's lovely, don't get me wrong. Like, it's, that's an experience within itself. But, like, I loved... Like, honestly, I loved Syria. It was amazing. The people you met, honestly, it was mega. Wow. But even with Iraq, like, when I went to Iraq, went to Saddam Hussein's, like, palace and, like... <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it was like, honestly, mate, it's mad and like his lift and his fireplace and his, where his dining table, oh, mate, it's, it's mad, right? But like all that, and like I met some great people there. It, it, it's, it's mad because like, even with Iraq, like people like, oh, hate ISIS and all this. Mm -hmm. I can tell you now that the Iraqi people hate ISIS like more than us because it's giving them a reputation mm. that they don't want. Yeah. Like I was walking through the middle of Iraq, no problem, no bother. But yeah. like, I'll be honest. Like Afghanistan, uh, that that's that's different. Gravy, different story. You've been there, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, and I'll be honest. Like, 
never spoke about this. I never made a video about it, but like I was in and out. Like I went there to do a week trip. Yeah. I flew in. Was it for a video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, it was for a video, but again, like, I know it sounds cliche, but like I didn't, even though it was for a video, I didn't go for a video. Does yeah. that make no, sense? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I yeah. went to it and you yeah. brought the camera along to capture stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Like, if, if, it, if it was for a video, I'd have gone to loads of other places, but like, I don't upload that often because I go where I want to go and and then I'll make a video of where I want to go. Does yeah, that make yeah, sense? Yeah. So the motivation's not the video. The motivation's that, oh, I wonder what it's like. Exactly. Yeah. So obviously the Taliban run Afghanistan now. Every embassy's there. If you go to Afghanistan, you're on your own. Like if anything happened there, you're knackered, basically. But then the Taliban opened it up to tourists. So it had been 12 months since they took over. Um, so I thought, Let's give it a go. Like, yeah, like. <laughs> I'll, I'll yeah. this guy would go, nah. yeah, you know what? I fancy that. Taliban <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> opened it up. Yeah. Oh, I'm there. Well, it, yeah. well, I'll tell you a story, actually. Like, I was supposed to go to Afghanistan. Yeah. And then I got a call off a guy there, said, Simon, uh, I don't know if you actually want to come this week. And I'm like, why? And he's like, they've just blown up a mall. Like killed like 200 people. Bro, as and he did. said, I was going to take you to that mall. And he said, and they've just blown up the mosque which yeah, I was going to take you to that mosque as well. Then I'm sat there thinking, as much as I want to go, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? I don't want to risk my life as such. Well, there's like risk reward, right? Yeah. So I was like, I really want to see it, but at what point do you go, this is stupid, right? Yeah. So I was like, yeah. So I said, ah, okay, well, I tell you what, we'll leave it. I won't come this week. I said, just keep your ear to the ground. I'll wait for a call off you and then we'll see how it goes. So... Yeah, long story short, he, he rang me up like a couple of weeks later. He said, it seems that the tension seemed to have quietened a bit. Like, do you want to come? I was like, yeah, okay, sound. So I flew to Dubai, went to the Afghani embassy in Dubai. Like, mate, that was surreal as well. I'm in the Afghani embassy, right? Yeah. And it's like, I have to go and have a meeting with like the... I don't know, like the chancellor of Afghanistan or something yeah. to stamp my visa to ask me why I'm going, like, what's your intentions? I walk in the room and he's like, oh my God, I've seen all your videos. <laughs> I'm, oh like, I'm like, I'm <laughs> like, but then I start panicking because I'm like, is that a good thing yeah, or is that a bad thing? Because yeah. I'm like, because obviously with these countries, mm. they use like a political pawn, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, if they kidnap me, I'm not saying I'm a big deal or anything, but if you, they kidnap yeah. me, it'd be like, oh yeah, British YouTuber, captured in Afghanistan, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So then I'm like, oh shit. So then I'm like, should I go? Should I not go? But yeah, I went like. Yeah. <laughs> but and, then when you, and then when you were there, what was, what it, was that like? It, when it, you it's a bit of there? a tricky one because I really want to tell you like the whole thing, mm -hmm. but like genuinely, if I go into detail, it does sort of like, why I didn't post a video, to be honest, is because yeah. it, it jeopardizes people's safety there. And obviously, oh, like, fair. when I get the visa, it's attached to certain people. Yeah. But long story short, I went in there with the with the outlook of, like, staying there a week and, like, going around and not yeah. just in um, Kabul, where I landed. It was, like, going to different places. Um, but, yeah, like, I literally flew in at 8 in the morning. Yeah. Like, I had a pretty mad experience, and then I flew out at 3 after that afternoon. Oh, yeah. so you, you literally... I, 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 oh, mate, like, it was deep, like... Wow. Well, at least you got deep. out safely. Yeah, but, like, just, like, things that I can talk about, which was mad, was when I got in there, it was like, oh, mate, it was like, as the plane hit the tarmac in Kabul, because obviously America just, like, overnight... Well, not overnight, but very quickly just went, we're leaving it, aren't we? And yeah. they left everything there, right? So, like, we're landing, we hit the ground, mate, I look to my right, there's, like... 20 American fighter helicopters there, US Army on them. Like, and they're all just there on the abandoned. side. Abandoned. Just abandoned what they've left there. And wow. then like all this like American stuff. And then when I got in the taxi in Kabul and was going around Kabul, there'd be like these massive American Humvees and like these soldiers all in American gear. And I'd be like- But just like not American. Exactly. Well, right. I'd say to the guy, I'd be like, are they American? And he'd be like, oh no, that's the Taliban. And there'd be a massive Taliban flag flying from this Humvee like this. Ameri it was and insane. It just, wow. it just dripped out in American yeah. clubber. That is mad. But even like when I was wow. leaving, even when I was leaving, because I was only there a day, mm. the guy on customs is like, why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? As if like he's not going to let me because I sort of got the heads up there I might have a problem leaving. Yeah. Mm. So I was like, oh my god, was can you imagine? Like he go, was insulted slightly. Yeah, go. not really. It was more just like, why have you come in and out to Afghanistan mm. in, a, in day? a day? Yeah, and then obviously being a British guy as well, it looks a bit dodgy. Yeah. And then I was like, oh my god, I, I can't get stopped here. So like, yeah, he said it, but it was more like a, 
so why are you leaving? Like, yeah. and the, the thing is, like, even when I was coming in, like, they'd give you, like, this Taliban visa thing. And even though he was quizzing me there, oh, it's sketch, like. And then basically coming out then, he goes, so why are you leaving? I was just like, oh, a family member's really ill. I've got to go and I'm, I'm coming back tomorrow, but I've just got to make sure. And he's like, mm, okay, no problem. And he let me go. I was like, thank God. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. 